Hi, I'm Jennifer Kennedy. I'm a registered veterinary technician here at Santa Barbara Zoo, and um, that's basically a veterinary nurse. I've worked here about 10 years. Yeah, I enjoy it here. I love working with all the different species, all the exotic mammals and birds and reptiles. It's, it's a very interesting job. Hi, I'm Sarah Newman. I'm one of the associate veterinarians here at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Um, I'll be here coming up on four years. Uh, so pretty much my tenure here, we have had the um, CT machine. The other animals that I really find this very useful for are a lot of our avian species. Penguins are very prone to a fungal infection called aspergillosis. There are these little nodules that they can get in the lungs or in their air sacs. And they can be on the smaller side, and when you're taking two view images, um, your lungs, they overlap each other and you can kind of miss smaller changes in the lungs. And so it's surprising sometimes you see these nodules there and things like that. The CT has become just like an invaluable uh, piece of equipment. So we have um, here at the zoo, we have about 500 different animals, around 150 different species. Um, we are very involved in conservation projects. We work with the Channel Island Fox, with the California Condor, with the Red-Legged Frog, Monarch Butterflies, um, Sea Otters, and Plovers, the Snowy Plovers. Our Amur Leopard one day, uh, we came in and he was just really off. Uh, the keepers were very worried about him, so uh, when we went, vet staff went to go assess him, um, I could see he was very hunkered down in the back corner. Um, he really hadn't eaten his food the day before. And so it just didn't, it, he didn't seem right. So we decided at that point in time to do an emergency sedation, to do an exam. Um, when we did his x-rays that day, uh, there was something within the lung field. It was kind of hard to tell exactly where it was um, and if it was causing an issue. So we put him into the CT machine and it became very clear at that point that he had a bronchial foreign body. This is our male armor leopard who had a bronchial foreign body. And uh, with the CT, we were able to identify that it was in a bronchi instead of in the trachea, so, which helped with our treatment approach. After we identified it, um, we were able to quickly reach out to a specialist uh, to come with a bronchoscope and uh, remove the foreign object. And having the CT allowed us to know exactly where she needed to go with that bronchoscope to remove the foreign material. Yeah, so um, like we'll take our images of Penelope, Pancake, the Amber Leopard, any animal that we're doing our CT on, and then those images will get sent over to our desktop over here, reconstructed into their 3D images, and then we upload that to a storage and send that off to an outside radiology department. Um, and then they'll send us back a report uh, with annotated images as well. Where they'll point out things that they're talking about. And then based on what we're reading, um, we'll make our next treatment uh, plans.